everyone, this is Milad Musavi from Maya HTT. In this how-to video, we focus on one of the essential requirements of external error applications, which is uh, how to compute lift and drag coefficients. As I mentioned, the lift and drag forces and their coefficients are extremely important in external error applications. In SimCenter 3D, you can easily and very quickly extract these values by a few clicks using report feature. At the end of the analysis, you will have clear, easy to read and use report on all the forces, moments and their coefficients in CSV and HTML format. What we have in here is simplified representation of a fastback car. We have generated a course mesh for the purpose of this quick how-to video and defined the boundary condition. Next step is to define the lift and drag report. You can define the report by defining a new simulation object by either going to the toolbar section simulation object and choose the report or right click on the simulation object and in the simulation navigator and select report. In the report pop-up window you have a few options to define a report on region, between regions, track during solve or immiscible fluid mixture. We choose lift and drag. Rename the report to lift drag report. You can put the report in the root or in a folder in the simulation object. which goes under simulation object in the simulation navigator. The next step is to select uh, the faces or the bo bodies that uh, you would like to compute the values on. These faces could be previously defined in a group or you can select them by making a box uh, around the faces. Uh, then we select the coordinate system which can be selected in many different ways. I choose the absolute one in here and then define the directions of the calculation. For lift axis I define minus Z and for drag axis I define minus X. If you would like to have the coefficients as well, you can check the coefficient box and input the required values. In here, we calculated 0.1 meter square for the projected area and 0.83 meter for length, which you can also use measuring tools to record. And then the free stream velocity of 20 meter per second and air de density as default. Now solve the simulation by uh, pressing solve. In general, for accurate modeling of the drag, you need to have a properly sized fluid domain, suitable boundary mesh layer, suitable turbulent model uh, like Spallard Almaras or K Omega SSD, and enough local and wake refinement. So now we're waiting for the simulation to converge. It's going to take a few, like a couple of minutes. The simulation is converged now. Uh, and the reports are created in the solution folder. Press on the results and check the velocity field by clipping a section in Y direction. Here we clip in Y direction and I put the uh, point at zero to just investigate the velocity film and, uh, field and see how it is converged. Now by opening the solution folder there is a report CSV file where all the desired value are recorded. You can see all the values are recorded, lift, drag and uh, their coefficients and the moments as well as uh, their moment coefficient. Also SimCenter 3D creates the HTML file where you can easily read all the forces, moments, their coefficient value and their direction. In here you can see the values are recorded and the units are there. The lift magnitude, the lift coefficient and their direction, dra drag magnitude and drag coefficient and other values. Thanks everyone for watching this video.